Um, I created my blog in order to renew uh, the public's interest into health uh, because I find that a lot, a lot of times uh, the way it's presented, health and science can be a bit boring, can be a bit complex and people don't really respond to that. Uh, so I wanted to try a new approach, make it very personal, uh, make it very funny and light, uh, something that people could connect with and uh, it's, uh, it's a new way to engage. <music> Easily the vaccine one. I wrote uh, a comic about vaccines, which was called uh, Five Badly Informed Opinions About Vaccines, just uh, addressing five simple ideas that people have uh, about vaccination. And it became the most popular topic I've had, to my own surprise. <music> I would say the feedback was uh, mostly overwhelmingly good. Uh, the first feedback I got was from the medical community and scientists who were extremely happy that someone was able to voice that kind of ideas in a very uh, simple way, but also in a very non-condescending way. Uh, but then I got the, the feedback I was really looking for, which was the public's feedback. And it was also very good. Um, of course, there's always some negative people, especially online, uh, but I was able to manage that pretty, uh, pretty good, pretty great, I think. Um, well, you know what? The tone is not that important. What, ma what matters most is that it has to be authentic. And, you know, my blog is my personality. And that's always what I say is I've never done anything in my life, I'm a pharmacist, but I've never been closer to who I really am than on that web page. And if the tone is, um, is uh, aligned with what you are, then people respond to that. They can see how it's authentic and then they can, they can connect with that. The, the real issue here is to make people understand that there's really no debate going on, you know. Uh, the fact that we, we know a lot of things about vaccines and it's really to re-establish re uh, perceptions, especially in the media, because the media sometimes they have uh, this uh, bad tendency to sometimes overemphasize the negative aspects of vaccination and underemphasize the good ones. So as a healthcare professional and also as a person who's in the media, you kind of need to reestablish that balance and put a lot of things into perspective. But it's something you, that can be done in a very fun way though. And I, I'm actually having a lot of fun doing it. And I incorporate a lot of humor into it. And I think the media, again, uh, they like it because it's not the kind of attitude they see very often coming from, from scientists. Mm -hmm.